So about a couple weeks ago, I did a video covering the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 Pro and I was really not that enthusiastic about these headphones and the Soundcore fans have made it very, very evident and they have also made it very apparent that they are not happy either. So I guess I'm going to have to make a follow up to that. but. It did get me thinking something and I did want to make this video because I know a lot of you guys watch me for my audio reviews. I know you guys watch a lot of my audio videos and that's kind of where I built a big platform on my channel. And as you guys know, I don't really do AirPod reviews or Bose and Sony's. I did it like maybe once in a long time ago and then it kind of stopped and a lot of people have been noticing that and when I get very critical of Apple and Samsung and you know the whole fan bases start to come in, a lot of people start to ask the question, well why don't you review those earbuds anymore? Why do you always review like smaller earbuds like Soundcore? Uh, why do you review earbuds like AKG, SXFI, Creative Labs? You know, you review every other headphone but Apple, JBL, Sony, Bose, and just bigger name brands. So I wanted to make this video to kind of talk about where I stand as an audio reviewer and why I don't cover these big brands. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll get a good perspective, at least to understand where I'm coming from as a reviewer and as a general consumer. First thing, and the main reason really, the first main reason why I don't review the big brands is because they're always a safe fire bet. Anytime you pick up a pair of wireless headphones from a company like Bose, Sony, Apple, Samsung, Google, well, to be fair, Google's kind of getting there, but they're still working on it. So they kind of fall into that tier of like up and coming earbuds. But you get any headphone from a big brand, generally 95% of the time, you're going to be fine with that purchase because for starters, it is a safe fire bet. You don't have to worry about reliability because it's made from a reliable company. The sound quality things, that stuff doesn't bother you. And you're more worried about who it's made from, what it does, the price and things like that. So when it comes to that, that's my first reason. It are always a safe fire bet. Number two, now let's start to talk about specific brands. When it comes to brands like Apple and Samsung, a lot of people have this fan base built in. And the problem with this fan base is that both sides are just terrible, terrible at trying to support their brands. Now there are some relatively good fans that don't name talk others and don't give backlash when their feelings are hurt. Because the first thing they do when they don't like something is they run to the keyboard. But there are some people that are very level headed and then there are some people that aren't. And for those level headed fans, you guys are the reason why I don't have to review those earbuds because you know what you're looking for. They're made for you so that you don't have to worry about what I'm saying. If it works for you and you like what you like, that's fair. But then to those other guys, that's the other reason why I make my videos because I'm not here to feed into your ego of what you like and don't like. I'm going to make the video the way I see it and because of the other earbuds that I've reviewed. And we'll get to those reasons after, but going back to the fan base here, it's just this constant back and forth. And honestly, where I sit on it, it's like, listen, with Apple headphones, you know they're going to work for Apple products only. If you try to use them on Android and others, good luck with that. And the same now goes for Samsung. But at one point, Samsung was working on iPhones and it even had app support for the Galaxy Buds Plus, but then they decided to go the whole ecosystem only thing. So now they're locked into their ecosystem or at least in the Android side. But all in all, that's the other reason. It's just the annoying fan bases because you say the one thing that bothers them, they're going to go clickety clack. And then the level headed guys are like, all right, well, you know, we don't disagree, but we appreciate where you're coming from. But that's the reason number two. Reason number three is now we get into again. There are headphones out there that have shown that you don't need a big brand name to make an impact. Take a look at Soundcore. When they first started, they dominated the game when it came to this new generation of earbuds, when it came to the battery life technology, when it came to the sound quality, the drivers, everything, the app support, they were able to revolutionize and really become a huge big factor. Now they're in that category of Apple, Samsung, and Bose and all those, because now when you hear the name Soundcore, you know about the brand, but they're not that big of tier 
as they are, you know, comparatively to those guys. But at one point they were starting out and then they were building and building and building. Now, recently I did a video calling out Soundcore because I do feel along the lines that they have lost sight in the company that they once were, but that's a whole entire different video. But the point is, is that there are other headphones that I have reviewed that have done phenomenal jobs that have not only been solidly built, solid audio quality, solid battery life, but have performed exceptionally well. And there are brands out there like One More. There is also, again, I reviewed the Soundcore earbuds because there are some models that you don't know about, but also there's the Creative Lab SXF5 wired headphones. I still use wired headphones. And then even from time to time, the Beats headphones. Now, a lot of people always hit me up and they're like, oh, well, if you won't review Apple or Samsung, why are you reviewing Beats? Beats is more of just kind of like a throwback thing for me because I was a kid back in the day and I used those headphones on a daily. So for me, the Beats is always like a guilty pleasure kind of review. And most recently, if you check out my Solo 4s, you'll even see that I didn't actually recommend the new models. But that's beside the point, but that's the next reason. And mostly the other reason why I don't review these brands or really like covering them is because we always compare them anyway. And this is one of the things that I really try not to do when it comes to headphone reviews. I don't like to compare the AirPods sound quality or the Soundcore sound quality or the Samsung sound qualities to newer headphones that arrive on my desk. Whatever headphones arrive on my desk, I'm gonna pick them up, put them in my ears, and I'm gonna use them, and I'm gonna give my honest opinion on them. I'm not gonna constantly go back and forth and go, oh well, in comparison to the AirPods, because you already know what those are made for. You know already what they are. You don't need me to just continue saying, oh, well, you know, in comparison to the AirPods, uh, they sound even better. And truth of the matter is, is that all my headphone reviews, I'm not loyal to any brand. I'm a Soundcore fanboy, but I'm not loyal to them. I'm not in their pocket and they're not in my pocket. They don't even care about me because the truth of the matter is, is that really no brands care about you. They care about the money you pump out, but that's the point of being a fan is you like what you enjoy and the quality matches. And with me, when I get a pair of headphones that arrive on my desk and I use them and review them, I can't help but feel that those headphones have something to offer that even if you go to the big guys, you're saving some money, you're getting some equal quality, and we actually have an audio review coming out very soon that you will be surprised about. So stay tuned for the next audio review because let me tell you something, if you think this video is not going to age well, wait till the next video. But all in all, the, this is a video I've been wanting to make to really give my justification on where I stand when it comes to audio reviews headphone reviews and all that. Because at the end of the day, listen, you can always get these headphones, you can always cover them, and they will always be out there. They're not going anywhere. But these other headphones that nobody knows about that can perform about the same level or even outperform some of those earbuds, I'm gonna do that and highlight them for you guys because it's not only a new vessel for you to consider, but it also gives you guys a new perspective where you can save some money, get some high quality in there, and also you don't have to worry about breaking the bank, but also you just know that if you're not happy, you can always go back to those headphones because they'll always be around. And this is not a knock to JBL, to Bose, to Sony, to Apple, Samsung, AKG. This is not a knock to them at all because those headphones are some phenomenal headphones and they'll always be phenomenal. But at the end of the day, my justification is simple. I pick a headphone that I think people would like and I share why I think you would like it. And if it's a well commonly built headphone, you're already gonna know about it. And in regards to the Galaxy Bud 3 and 3 Pros, I made it very clear that it was evident that Samsung had copied Apple. And yes, there have been many other brands that have done this, but what these other brands have been able to do is to make some tweaks and changes so that the way they don't look like a blatant copy. And now we're hearing reports that the Samsung earbuds are now being delayed because of so many issues going on. So that's again, another video for another time, but all in all guys, that is where I stand on headphone reviews. And I hope that this gives you some insight because again, will I review them? Probably, but do I need to review them? Are they urgent? No, because at the end of the day, there are tons of other earbuds out there that can deliver. And if I feel they're worth it, I'm gonna show it. And at the end of the day, I do what's best for my channel and I hope you guys enjoy it. That's the main thing.